So when the police had came, I had a little small knife in my hand because I was threatened to bring harm to my mom's boyfriend. And the police drew a gun on me, but he didn't point it at me. He, he, he had it drawn, but pointed like at the ground, but let me know, drop the knife, drop the knife. And What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Naomi and Cryer, and I'm back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Your boy is doing all right, man. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you gotta do is turn that bell on, subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you're subscribed. In order to get notifications, every time I drop a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with that vibrating symbol. That way, every time I upload a video over here, all of you guys get the notifications. Also, guys, thank you all for who recently subscribed to excuse me the cryer family reaction channel that link will be in the description box down below so guys i decided to take me like a little solo vacation trip you know just to kind of get away um time that you guys get this video i will already be back home i just like sometimes you need to just get away and just get out and just make things happen and so that's what i decided to do so I was gonna give you guys like a little tour of my hotel and let you guys know what I'm up to. So anyway, this is just to show you guys. It's the hotel I'm actually chilling at. Camera got me a hotel. I am a very, very long ways from home. So this is where I'm at right now. And this is like the little sitting area outside of my hotel um it's very very nice hotel actually i've been to a lot of these hotels but this one has like a lot of new features so this has one of the hugest sitting areas that i've seen at a hotel so this is like they got multiple sitting areas out here for you to sit at they got the big tables for cards you can play cards at night and they have lights out here and stuff there's another section right here like that one over there see they got them very nicely spaced apart this hotel I like to come to, like if I'm with like family or my girl and the kids, another huge sitting area over here for everybody. And then they have like another area over here, which as you guys can see, it has a whole lot more shade. I woke up this morning. Now most hotels got like the compliment breakfast. This hotel, it has a buffet, like a breakfast buffet. But you have to actually pay for it but it's, it's actually well worth it it's really really nice um the food that they had on the breakfast this morning i should have filmed it but i had just woke up my eyes was red i was crazy and the breakfast buffet was only between 6 a.m and 9 so <laughs> i didn't get down to the lobby until like close to nine o'clock so i was trying to rush it so i didn't get a chance to film it but hopefully tomorrow morning I can film the breakfast buffet and if I don't I do apologize but right here reminds me of when I was in Las Vegas recently the huge big old drive up area right here I like it I mean it has like people come out and you can do like the valet parking or whatever people come out take your uh, keys and stuff and give you like a little ticket well at least they were out here when I pulled up they're not out here right now inside is pretty clean for the most part never want to stay at a hotel that doesn't have a clean inside look at the doors electric doors one of my favorite features when you walk in here look at this guys look at this this looks dope right here this is really nice man i mean this this hotel is very very nice they got another sitting area over here and it's just like you see when you uh, see the hotel online. They got a huge wine rack over there. They got another huge sitting area down here in the lobby area. Now, in this lobby area reminds me of when I was in Italy in 2014. Like they had like the lobby area down there that you could sit down at and just, you know, have your company down there or whatever. They got a bar over there. They have a big bar over there. Look at these tables, man. I'm, I'm so in love with these. These are nice right here. 
these are very very nice you guys can see this is a very very luxurious hotel right here this hilton again i've been in a lot of hiltons before but this is an extremely nice hilton so yeah i'm just kind of just showing you guys like around like what's going on don't really want to get the camera in nobody's face so i'm kind of holding it down over here they got like the little wine rack they got all the wines and stuff which is really really nice wine for days again i'm not a huge drinker so but i do drink wine occasionally and this is the dining room area where i had my solo breakfast at this morning they actually told me i can sit in here right now even though it's closed they told me that i can still sit in here this is i think Russ, oh i sat right here this morning but it was it was it was, it was real nice this morning when i came in here and then out here they don't have a pool at this one but they have a pool at the one that's next to me at the hotel next to me so this is the outside area that i just actually showed you guys a few minutes ago and i'm gonna take you guys upstairs and show you guys my hotel room this is actually good because like a lot of people do have babies when they come here little young kids so that's pretty awesome that they not only just think of the adults but they think of the children too and this was the breakfast area that they had set up this morning. I mean, it was hooked up nice in here too. Very clean. Like, as soon as you sat down, they come up to you asking, do you need anything? I mean, that's that, it, this is a really nice hotel, man. I would definitely recommend this hotel to anybody and I would give this five stars all the way across. Everything is so nice, neatly stacked up, clean. I mean, this is, this is what I like right here. I love coming to hotels like this. I'm on my floor, guys. Yeah, this hotel, man, I would recommend this hotel to anyone. I don't know about you guys, but I do a lot of traveling. Like, I'm not gonna say a whole lot, but like throughout the year, I probably travel out of state probably 15, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say about 15 times. I go to different states during the warm months, 15 times out of the year. You know, like, just to get out and just go somewhere. People think that you need a lot of money just to travel. You actually really don't, depending on if you're flying or driving. I love to drive. It's my bathroom. Y'all know I'm very messy when it comes to my restroom. Tiles on the floor. But yeah, this is um, this is my little restroom, my little solo bathroom. Let's see, I don't have a lot of stuff. Um, got my hairbrush, some razors, toothbrush, toothpaste, eye drops, deodorant. I never use their soap, so I always bring my favorite soap, which is Coast, some little cheap lotion. And then over here, they got like a little snack area for like if you want like not snack area, but like you want coffee, bottled water. Um, do not stir. Do not disturb. I always put this on my door if I'm staying for three or four days because I don't like no one coming in my room when I'm not here. Now, if I catch the maids on the floor and I'm here, I'll ask them to come in and then like, you know, make the bed or whatever. But normally when I leave my room, I put this on the door because I don't want no one coming in my hotel when I'm not here. I have a huge mirror right here. I mean, it's like a basic hotel, but it's like it has the downstairs is what I'm really impressed with. The downstairs is extremely impressive. You got this huge closet right here, man. Everything that you can eat. Got the hangers, the iron. Is there an ironing board in there? Yep, got an ironing board. They got a safe down there. I do use the safes when I travel, which is always a good thing. Over here, you got the basic little, you have a lot of room over here for whatever, like your luggage, you wanna stack it up right there. But over here, I always carry this bag when I travel, especially when I travel lightly. A couple little outfits, got a little TV. Well, I don't know, it's probably like a 45, 50 inch on, on the wall. A little sitting area right here. A little sitting area with the little uh, ottoman. The bed is not this the king. Obviously, it's just me, but I do prefer to have a king size bed when I'm traveling. Even though I have a king size bed at home, I still prefer if I'm traveling because I'm used to having a king size bed. I do toss and turn a lot. I really love this picture that they have on the wall. Farmer's Market, one of my favorites. Anyway, my view, I don't have much of a view because of the side of the hotel that I'm actually on. 
but it's still a pretty decent view man you can see like the mountains way back in the distance i mean look at these mountains guys this is sick just the scene of these mountains look at that everywhere you go everywhere you turn it's just mountains on top of mountains on top of freaking mountains check this out guys this is like the second part of my hotel lobby right here I'm gonna step back a little bit just so you guys can see like the beginning part of it like this is where you first come in out here they got this beautiful picture right here on the wall for some reason man it's like when I see stuff like this I love great artwork even if it's just a hotel it's like it doesn't really matter like they got a huge theater room right there and there's another one right there where you can do like either theater in there or like you can do stuff like <clears throat> big power meetings in those type of rooms and then over here you got more designs none of you guys probably are like what does this have to do with anything the, re the reason why i'm showing you guys this is because this is the type of stuff that i like to enjoy doing sometimes when i travel and go out of town it's not that i'm leaving because i'm depressed I'm stressed out, I got something bad going on. Sometimes this is the right thing to do, just to take time out to yourself to reflect and realize like, you know, what are we here for? And when I go places, I love to sightsee, I get different ideas. And then it also gives me a chance to bring you guys content. Um, traveling and stuff like that. Like these are the restaurants back here. But right now, for some reason, this is like literally a weekday and this is the earlier part of the week and it's like the hotel is getting packed and packed and packed by the minute so even though it's just like it's the day after memorial day two days after memorial day so it's like the hotel is still getting full but fortunately for me i will be on my way home soon but i just want to just show you guys like some of the stuff that i'm doing I know earlier I said something to you guys about that there wasn't a pool, but I lied, not on purpose, but I realized that there is actually a swimming pool. I'm gonna go out this door. Hopefully I can use my card to get back in. Nope, I don't wanna go out that door. I'm gonna go out this door. It just means I have to use my, oh no, they got these locked. So I'm gonna have to go, look at that. I love that wall decor right there. Just the smallest things, man, really, really just kind of excite me because believe it or not, I am old school. I'm kind of old fashioned. I just don't dress old fashioned, but I am into detail. I love the details of stuff. But anyway, I'm about to ready to go outside guys, sit down, talk to you guys for a minute. And uh, look how nice this is, man. I'm loving this hotel right here. Let's give you guys another good sight see while we down here in the lobby area. I'm telling you guys, when I was in Italy, this hotel reminds me. Like, look how much room is in here. This is crazy, man. Look at the room. It's so much room. Like, you can just do so much stuff here, man. Even though it's a hotel, I know there's certain things that they're not going to allow. But, again, it's just really amazing to see, like all of the nice things that you can do. And then outside of the hotel, there's so many attractions with the mountains and stuff like that. But I'm about to head outside, guys. You know, like, I know you guys are probably wondering, like, why did I travel so far just to get a hotel room and just to spend time with myself? Again, it's not, you know, like I said earlier in the video, it wasn't so much that I have something going on bad or, something like that sometimes you just need that getaway to just like have a clear mind to be able to think about a lot of stuff reflect on life you know trying to figure out like basically you know what i'm saying what's our purpose here you know you guys know my oldest son his birthday just passed well not his birthday but his um the date that he passed away five years ago recently just passed a few days ago which was may 25th and it was really 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 a hard time for me you know i'm not gonna lie when that time of the year comes around you know it hits different for me like where sometimes i fall into like a really really depressed state i fall into a really really depressed frame of mind and sometimes 
I do stuff like this just to get away. I think about like all the losses that I had and you know, still losses to come, you know, it's sad to say. And one day gonna be mine. But reminiscing and thinking about everything that I've did over all these years to where I'm at right now, I'm just feeling truly blessed, you know, as far as like, why did God choose me? You know, why was I, you know, one of the ones who was chose to actually basically endure and go through so much hardship in life? And then I've done a lot of wrongs and stuff in my life, you know, which I don't hide nothing from you guys. You guys know I've been shot. You guys know that I've been in the system. I was on probation, parole, and all that stuff. All right now, to this day, you know, I'm not on anything like that. Um, I don't do drugs. I'm not a. I'm not a heavy drinker. I'm not even a social drinker. I mean, maybe once out of the year, you guys may see me with a glass of wine in my hand. Um, there's so much change, man. And now I think about my 52nd birthday coming up guys i never thought i would be around to actually see it you know um I'm but you know i'm gonna turn 52 in another week just a little bit over a week from now i'll be 52 years old and i remember when i was 16 years old i had did something really stupid that landed me in juvenile center and basically me and my mom's boyfriend you know this was years ago guys me and my mom boyfriend had gotten to it and God rest his soul because he passed away years ago and my mom's boyfriend we had gotten to it one day right what happened was I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys the story and why I will never forget this one day my mom let me go out in the backyard okay you know we used to always have to ask permission to go outside just like any other parent kid ask their parent hey can I go outside my mom let me go out in the backyard for a little while Okay, and I was really young. I can't remember the age I was. I want to say 15 or 16. I might have even been 13 or 14. But <clears throat> my mom let me go out in the backyard. My next door neighbor, they uh, they they had um, a farm that they actually owned chickens and stuff like that at. They also owned a little restaurant. It was like a little mom and pops neighborhood restaurant. So they were outside next door cleaning chickens and I had never seen a chicken be killed and cleaned before. So I was pretty interest, interested in what was going on. So I went to the fence and asked the neighbor, hey, what are you guys doing? And obviously I knew that they were killing chickens and they were pulling feathers off and doing all, but they had like a bunch of them. And they, the, the neighbor showed me that she was cleaning chickens, her and her husband, and uh, God rest his soul too, because he's passed away years, years ago. Um, and I asked him, can I come over to watch him do it? So they let me come over to help them watch, watch them do the chickens. And I seen where they were like ring a chicken and spin it around and break his neck and they would cut it off and they would clean the feathers off and they would do all this other stuff to get the chicken cleaned and processed, ready to cook basically. But I think it's some of the chickens that they were cooking in, at their restaurants at the time. So, while I was over there in the neighbor's yard watching them do the chickens, my mom's boyfriend had came out on the back porch looking for me and seen that I was next door in the neighbor's yard without permission. So he went off, you know, he, I, don't, I don't think that he went off on me. He was like, get your butt back over here right now. Your mom told you to go out in the backyard. Um, and you know, basically me, me being a hot headed teenager, like you ain't my dad, you don't tell me what to do. Now mind you, that was my mom's boyfriend, so which would have kind of made him like my stepdad. But I was like smart mouth. I said, you're not my dad, you don't tell me what to do. So he went in the house and got my mom and told her I was getting smart with him and that I had went next door without permission. My mom came out and told me to get my ASS back over in the yard. And so I did, but when I came back in the yard, I was furious that her boyfriend went in the house and told on me. So basically me and my mom's boyfriend, they got into a real bad argument. I mean, where I started cursing. Yeah, cursing in front of my mom. I mean, it was bad. I was really disrespectful. To basically sum it up, the police was called because the way I was acting and going off and cursing and 
talking about hitting the guy and this and that. So when the police had came, I had a little small knife in my hand because I was threatening to bring harm to my mom's boyfriend. And the police drew a gun on me, but he didn't point it at me. He, he, he had it drawn, but pointed like at the ground, but let me know, drop the knife, drop the knife. And I remember him warning me multiple times to drop the knife. And then I hear my mom screaming and crying like, please drop the knife, Damien. And she was like, please don't shoot my son. Please don't shoot my son. So after I dropped the knife, by that time, like maybe another squad car or two had pulled up on scene. And I was really young. So they ended up putting the cuffs on me, put me in the back seat. And I remember like I was still hot-headed. I was still going off talking crazy to my mom's boyfriend while I was cuffed. And I was yelling at the police officer who had arrested me. And basically the cop, while the cop was transporting me, i never forget the words that he said to me. He said, you will never make it to see the age of 18. He said, you will be dead by the age of 18. That's always stuck with me, you know, and the reason why I'm telling you that story is because there was another time I was told something similar. And, you know, basically I made it past the age of 18. But I remember going to juvenile and I had like this juvenile hearing coming up. And one of the people who talked to me was a black guy. I can't remember his name, but he was a big part of the juvenile system at the time. Um, where it came to juvenile kids being bad and foster home replacement and stuff like that. And I remember me getting smart with him. And that guy told me, he said, you're going to be in prison one of these days. You're going to go to prison because you're one of those kids who never listen. Turns out that guy was right. I ended up not only going to prison one time, but I found myself in prison a second time. And so now, the reason why I'm telling you guys this story is because now I look back on everything and I reflect on when the guy, the officer told me I wouldn't make it to see 18. Another guy told me that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wind up in prison. And all the things that happened to me, it makes me just feel truly blessed to still be here. And the reason why I'm still here right now is because the choices that I made in life, the decisions that I made to never look back again, to never make the same mistakes again. Have I made some of the same dumb mistakes over and over in my life? Yes, I have. Have I learned from those mistakes? Yes, I have. Do I have a lot of regrets? Yes, I have. And now I sit back and say to myself, like, where I came from in Indiana, you know, um, I was one of those guys who came out the system and I did what people said that I could never do. They said I could never stay out and I could never get a good job because I was an ex-felon. And I proved everybody wrong. I never went back and I got a good job and I decided to change my life over. And it's times like this where I do take trips by myself. I'll get a hotel or Airbnb for a couple of days. And that time is for me because I just like to just take time and just reflect on life. You know, my accomplishments, things that I thought I would never accomplish. I mean, even with YouTube, growing up, we didn't have YouTube. There was nothing like social media. And even outside of YouTube, you know, that's not my only accomplishment. Like, where I'm at on YouTube is great. I mean, I'm up there. I'm where a lot of people want to be. And a lot of people wake up every day, they pick a camera up, and this is where they're trying to be. They're trying to really get their name out there um, and trying to get themselves up there to be well known. So that way their other businesses could, you know, thrive because of they're actually out there in front of a bigger audience of people. But I feel like my success actually goes farther than YouTube. You know, I made a promise that I would never go back to the system. I never went back, you know. Um, I feel like I went through a lot of stuff over the years leading up to my divorce that you know i feel that could have made that i could have made better changes on but i also told myself when i got divorced that that was supposed to happen because god don't make mistakes i used to always question god why you put me through this why did you put me through this but i found out later on that this was supposed to happen people always say well this was always written in the book and we don't want to hear that stuff like this wasn't always written in the book 
this wasn't already written in a book. This is not supposed to happen to me. But like I said, I realize everything happens for a reason. I feel like now with the accomplishments that I've actually made, I feel like that I'm in a position now to inspire people, to be able to help people, you know, because there's a lot of guys right now that's living the life that I was once living. They were going through the stuff that I was once going through. And there are some people who's actually going through some of the bad stuff that I went through. But just know that there's always a light at the end of the rainbow. There's always gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel. I realize that what we do for a living, it does affect the lives of a lot of people who watch us, especially our younger generation. Um, if somebody would have told me 20 years ago that we would have a black president, I would have never believed them. If somebody would have told me 20 years ago that I would be living to see the age 52, I would never believe them. If somebody would have told me 10 years ago that you would be getting a divorce and moving to Texas one day, I would have never believed them. Change starts within yourself, man. You know, I feel like people give up on themselves. People give up on their dreams. People give up on their hopes. And they don't believe in themselves anymore. And that's why I, you know, like, I do videos like this every once in a while. Just to remind people, man, you can be whatever you want, man. You can be whoever you want when you put your mind to it. You know, I've, I've convinced myself that I had to go through the system and go to prison to get to where I'm at today. I realized that it took me to get a divorce for me to be at where I'm at today. I realized that I had to go through my trials and tribulations to get to where I'm at today because all the bad stuff that I went through, it was actually setting me up for something bigger. You know, and that's exactly what happened. All of my trials and tribulations I went through, it set me up for something greater, man. It set me up and put me in a position where now I'm able to help people. You know, on the Cryer Family channel, I remember a couple years ago, I wasn't able to give to do a giveaway. To where now, I do giveaways sometimes where I'm giving away thousands of dollars. Thousands, man. That's something I never thought I'd be sent myself doing, man. I got a second channel that, I'm, that I just recently started. It's called The Cryer Family Reacts. Um, and I got a lot of people who recently came over there and joined that channel. You know, and I do like reactions over there. And you know what I said to myself? And I've even been saying it in my videos over there. Once I get that channel off the ground, I want to start giving, doing giveaways on that channel. How dope is that, man? To be able to do giveaways on this channel and then to be able to help people out and do more giveaways on the other channel. That means not only will this channel right here be doing Christmas giveaways, holiday giveaways, cash app giveaways. Now I have another way I can do even more giveaways to be able to reach more people. Me doing my first Christmas giveaway like I did last year, I think it was maybe five or six boxes. Um, I went to a store. It wasn't very expensive, but so many people were so appreciative of the stuff that they received from me. I went to a store last year and I bought a couple hundred dollars worth of, you know, Christmas toys. I think it was like $5 toys. I bought a couple hundred dollars worth of $5 toys. And I took that stuff home and I went to a storage uh, facility and bought a bunch of uh, boxes. And I broke all those toys down to five, 10 toy increments and put them in those boxes. And I was able to send those boxes out to people. And people were sending me a picture in my email or on my IG through the DMs showing me the box that they had received. Some of these people were literally crying. I'm talking people my age with little kids. They were crying, man. Like, just the smallest things like that, man. They were so appreciative. I mean, these people right now to this day, man, they're going to always remember that. That this, you know, this guy who came from nothing bought gifts for our children. And it's, you know, like, it's just the little things like that that mean so much to me to be able to help people out. 
and that's one of the other reasons why I started this channel this other reaction channel because Christmas time seems like it's far away but it's only right around the corner um, it's an opportunity now man for me not to only be able to do one giveaway a year on, on this channel I can also go on that channel over there and say you know what I want to do a giveaway over here and that right there I felt like God and also because of you people who support the Cryer family are the reason why I'm able to do stuff like this and to be able in the future to continue to do more stuff for you guys man because at one time I felt like I was living on borrowed time because of everything that I went through but then I realized I'm not living on borrowed time the time that I have and the time that has been given is for me to help people out man to help people out to be put in a position to be able to share not only my story with you guys but also to be able to share more than just my story with you guys your children and stuff like that and that's why I do what I do and it's times like this where I have to step back from everything like what I'm doing now the hotel and everything and say you know this is what I want to do this is my next move that I want to make you know so these are just some of the goals that I wanted to tell you guys that I wanted to accomplish you know I do want to do more giveaways I want to be able to help people out more I mean I can't change the world you know I'm only one person but you know we all got to start somewhere and I feel like this is this is my journey right here I said maybe like a month ago in a video I said we're all here for an assignment we all have a reason why we're here we all have a purpose but none of us really knows what that purpose is I think my purpose now I think my purpose is to help people out you know I think that that's my purpose we all have a purpose some people have a purpose to become preachers and deacons some people have a purpose to become doctors lawyers judges and all those things that I just named preachers doctors lawyers judges they're all doing something to participate in in, in the way of helping people out my way of participating is to giving back and trying to get people that's younger than me to learn through my mistakes when they watch my videos because a lot of people they still don't know where I came from they say oh he's the Prince family dad you know oh he makes videos because of his son is a successful youtuber well yeah that's how it was in the beginning you know like wow but now I see it as an opportunity to really help people out man and if I'm able to help somebody else out you know what that means that person that I help out will one day be put in a position to pay it forward meaning they would be able to help somebody else out and keep that train going I had a person DM me recently this guy he's in like his 30s and he said one of my videos really changed his life man because of something that I said in one of my videos um, he didn't tell me specifically what it was but he did tell me thank you he said I said something in one of the videos that really just helped him think different about life and things that he want to do now he thinks differently about you know he said he, he that he didn't that he used to not be around his children a lot he said now he's in his children's lives more he said even his son his uh, kids moms is like really blown back because now he's really there for them now man you know and it really touched me to make me want to do this even more you know I did a video the other day with Erica love by Erica you guys know my son's mom you know and I was talking to her about the situation that's going on with her and her ex and you know it's like I felt like I know what it's like not having a dad you know I'm not gonna lie man that stuff is hard bro it's hard growing up and not having a dad man or even a mom and that's why I made the decision that I made you know some people were telling me in the comments oh legally you can't do that oh the dad can do this and do that the biological dad and it's like I don't I don't really care man 
you know, my thing is I just want to make sure that the right thing is being done. And if I, and if I can make a difference stepping up and filling those shoes, then I'm going to do it. If the dad steps up and wants to be in the baby's life, which I'm sure that he will, that means that baby going to have two dads, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of kids out there got two dads, two moms. You know, even though one is probably not biological and the other is, it's still the same. You know, like I said, I just feel like I know what my purpose is now. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, man. So I don't want to ramble on and bore you guys. And you know, if you guys made it this far in the video, I really do appreciate the love and support, man. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's getting really, really late. And, um, I got to get some sleep so I can get on the road in the morning. I, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off, but I just want to just let you guys all know that I appreciate y'all, man, uh, supporting the Cryer family, you know, and always been here every time I drop a video, giving me positive feedback. Um, if you guys got any suggestions, you know, if you're going through something, y'all can email me at black underscore dac2 at yahoo.com. Or y'all can hit me up in the DMs on IG at Damian Cryer Sr., all lower casings. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. But I love all of you guys, man. And thank you all again so much, man. But until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. I love you guys, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.